As a community and as a nation, um, COVID-19 has prompted unprecedented measures, um, not just for our community, but for other communities across the country. Well, you're right, Ashlyn. This, this, this is, uh, we're in uncharted territory, all of us pretty much in this, this, this area that we haven't been in before. You know, local governments are used to dealing with storms that come through your community and they leave your community. This is a much different beast to deal with is that it comes into your community and it stays in your community and continues to do damage. So uh, it's, it's just very important right now that we all continue to stay calm. I do understand the confusions and the, uh, the fear that we all have, but we must stay calm and listen to what the CDC and our local health officials are saying, those basic precautionary guidelines for us all. And as a city government, um, what measures as a city manager have you put in place to make sure that our employees' health and safety is taken care of? One of the first things we did at the onset of the virus is that we made sure that our employees have the appropriate uh, protective equipment, which was an easy task for us because, uh, as you know, many of our departments, you know, they're, they're picking up your trash, they're working in water sewer, so we provide the gloves, the masks, the outerwear that protects our employees. So we just wanted to make sure at the onset we had inventory of that and our employees were actually exercising using that equipment was the first thing we did. Uh, secondly, as the, as the uh, virus progressed, uh, we did lock the doors to our public buildings here. Our, we have been fully staffed up until this time, so we can still provide these services to our citizens, but we have locked the doors to our public buildings. Uh, that, that has helped uh, quite a bit to do that. Uh, as of tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, I've asked our department heads to look at their, their departments and determine if, are there folks within these departments that all of our city employees are fantastic and important to us, but are there some that we can send home for seven days during this declaration period uh, to kind of do our part? Because if we're going to ask our citizens to do their part, I feel the city of Iosa should look within itself and do the same. So we've identified about 200 plus positions that effective in the morning at 830 uh, they will stay at home and they will shelter in place. And that is so important, Ashton. Folks have got to shelter in place. Go home, stay at home, and don't leave. That's, that's proven that what the scientists are saying is the most effective way to get the flattening of the curve that we're all looking for on this virus. Uh, we will still have all the essential services will still be happening. We'll pick your garbage up. Uh, We'll be there with our water sewer crews, our police, our public safety. You know, these are just thankless jobs that, you know, I see a lot of Facebook posts that say, close everything down. I don't really think they mean shut the city of Alasa down because, again, we're out there day in and day out providing these thankless services and we are going to continue to do that. A common question that we get from folks in the community is how can I make sure that I'm still staying on top of my bills or if I've got that business license I need to renew, what are the avenues that I can and do those customer service tasks? That's a great question, Ashlyn. One of the first things we measures we took at the onset of this virus was to allow our folks to pay their, let's say utility bills for example, or any bill that you have here with the city, you may pay it online. We have drop boxes available or our drive through window. Uh, we have plenty of those options available. Uh, we want folks to take advantage of that. But we do want our people to understand this as well. Just because we're not disconnecting services for non-payment does not mean you, we don't need you to be paying your bill. And it just behooves you to do so because at the end of all this, when we make it through this crisis, you're going to have a larger amount. We don't want that financial burden on anyone. So please continue to pay your water bill. Uh, but again, we have many ways to accept payments uh, than coming into the customer service building or any of our other buildings. And a common question and something important for our community to remember is that during this time, public safety, our fantastic uh, police and fire departments will still be operating. So what details can you give the community about our public safety officials? You've seen a lot in the press and the things we've been reading, local government's kind of a, a side item, if you will. And, but we're the ones providing those essential services for folks. And so we're, it is our effort and we, kn we know our responsibility to this community. Um, it's a fine line to make that determination of who's gonna stay home and who's gonna continue to provide those services. But uh, all of our quality services that our citizens expect from us will continue uh, to be serviced 
just as they have been. Sure, there may be some hiccups along the way. With there may be some uh, some delays and some things. But I think in the overall scheme of things, we all know it's for the greater good that we must be the community that sticks together and defeats this virus. And action items are key. So anybody listening to this interview in the community, what can they do to help us? I think the biggest thing, Ashlyn, is just continue to, to do what the, the 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 experts are telling you to do. Wash your hands shelter in place. I mean, there's so much, so much of our community now that they're not working. They don't need to be out carousing. They need to be in their homes, sheltered in place with their families. Um, the washing of the hands, the, all of those precautions, that needs to continue. I know we've been this about three weeks now, and it gets a little old to continue to hear that, but that's the proving methods from the scientists of how to flatten the curve with this virus. And a little positivity, we'll get through this? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, I have no doubt. We're Winnersville, USA. We'll come out on the other end of this, a stronger community. I've been so impressed with some of the uh, retail establishments that have found other ways to sell their goods now. And that they may have a new revenue stream when it all is said and done. So it's been absolutely something that's, that, that's been devastating for us. But again, we're a very strong community and we'll come out much stronger in the end.